People visit Charleston from all over the world, not only for its beauty, but its endless history. The Old Exchange, the Charleston Market, the cobblestone roads, and the beautiful architecture are just a few of the most sought out pieces of history that still exist here in Charleston. However, there's one that stands out the most, the battery. But before I begin, be sure to subscribe to our channel and stay up to date on everything Charleston. Now, I'm not talking about an ancient AAA or AA battery. I'm talking about the peninsula of Charleston that was used for coastal defense artillery, such as cannons and mortars during the Civil War. The peninsula is bordered by the Ashley and Cooper Rivers, which meet to form the Charleston Harbor. The battery goes back all the way to 1731 when Broughton's battery, which later became known as Fort Wilkins in 1812, was constructed in the park area now known as White Point Gardens. Even after Broughton's battery was demolished in 1789 and a new wall and promenade were completed in the 1820s, locals still referred to it as the Battery. In 1837, the city set aside seven acres at the foot of King Street for the public park known as White Point Gardens. It was named so due to the piles of bleached oyster shells on the point of the peninsula prior to the construction of the seawall. From the outset, the park was planned as a place to be enjoyed by all people from all walks of life, not only for the wealthy who resided in the mansions overlooking its green spaces. However, in 1861, the White Point Gardens became a place for artillery during the American Civil War, known as Battery Ramsey. After the Civil War came to an end in 1865, the park and seawall went back to its former use as a promenade enjoyed by everyone. The historic seawall now benefits locals and tourists by forming a picturesque promenade that offers views that need to be seen to be believed. Numerous monuments have been erected to honor our military and several cannons still remain to remind us of the history. Also still standing today are the numerous grand mansions that are simply impossible to miss on the East Battery. Majority of these jaw-dropping homes were built during the peaceful period of 1820 to 1860 and still display stately pillars, dreamy balconies, and unique architecture. One of the earliest mansions was the Regency-style Edmonston Austin House at 21 East Battery. It was built in 1817 and is still open today as a museum house operated by the historic Charleston Foundation. The yellow stuccoed Lewis B. de Souchere Mansion at 1 East Battery was built in 1858 and received a number of hits by Union shells during the Civil War, one in which is allegedly still lodged in an attic beam. The yellow brick mansion at 19 East Battery is the newest, built in 1920. It is said to be one of the most expensive homes ever built in Charleston. However, during World War II, the mansion was used as offices by the U.S. Navy. Over the years, the battery has been hit by hurricanes and raging tropical storms. But thankfully, our city has done a wonderful job of maintaining and rebuilding the wall as needed to continue giving locals and tourists the history-filled experience it so greatly promises. Today, the battery is cherished by romantics, photographers, history lovers, runners, and families. I highly recommend that the next time you're in Charleston, you block off a few hours to take a break from the city noise and enjoy a peaceful walk down the promenade or reading a book in the park. To make this deal even sweeter, dogs are more than welcome. The Battery really is a magical experience and something that any visitors to Charleston should make sure they add to their list. All right, y'all, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more just like it, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. You block off a few hours to take a break from, <gasps> something zombie stands out the most the battery and there's something that's on my leg again <laughs> i'm just waiting for this bird to attack me <laughs>